Dynamics 365 Customer Service Core Components. My name is Paresh and this is episode 2. Now we will have a look at the basic record types that are used for service management. Customer Records. In Microsoft Dynamics 365 for customer service, customer service requests are typically managed in relation to an existing contact or account record. These contact and accounts are also used by other areas of business operations like sales or marketing. So a contact represents a person just as it does in Microsoft Outlook and an account represents a company, organization, or a group of people. Although these are the typical uses of accounts and contacts, different customer service deployments might use these records uh, differently, but they are both typically referred to as customers. So for example, when entering a customer on a case, you can select either an account or a contact. Then comes cases. Cases are the fundamental record types in service management and represents a single incident of any request service. Different organizations might use different terms to refer to cases like incidents, tickets, service requests, and so on. In other words, cases are anything in the context of customer interaction that requires some type of resolution or an answer. Many cases can be associated with a single customer record at the same time. In customer service, customer representatives can view open and resolve cases from a customer record. Then comes the activities. Interaction between a business and its customers that are considered important enough to track in a customer service are known as activities. Now, activities can be associated with many kinds of records in customer service. You can open the record and find activities under closed activities or open activities. Now, the closed activities are those that have been marked as completed. And of course, open activities are either haven't been marked as completed or are waiting for a completion at a different date and time. Then comes the entitlements. Entitlements can be used to specify how much support service a customer is entitled to. For example, a customer's entitlement in customer service might be allotted like 10 support cases that the customer can use at his or her discretion. Entitlement channels. Entitlement channels can be used to specify the type of service a customer is entitled to. There are five um, entitlement channels, phone, email, web, Facebook, and Twitter. Next is knowledge base articles. The knowledge base in customer service is a repository of information articles that help customer service representatives resolve cases. In some organizations, the information in the knowledge base helps employ not only to resolve the issue, but also ask the follow-up questions. Typically, this information is about the company, product uh, questions and answers, and any other kind of information that can help the employee better handle customer inquiries, requests, or issues. Then comes the resolution activities. After all the activities for a case are resolved, the case itself can be resolved. After the case is resolved, an activity of the resolution activity type is created. Now this activity is found in closed activities associated with a case. Resolution activities show the case's resolution and how much time was spent on the case. Cues. A queue is a place to organize and store activities and cases that are waiting to be processed. For example, an organization might have a support team that has the email address support at the rate contoso.com, let's say. If the support team receives an email that is sent to this address, a member of the team handles the support case and works to resolve the issue for the customer. Queues in Microsoft Dynamics work the same way. Products. Now, products in Microsoft Dynamics CRM product catalog can be related to a customer service case. Therefore, they can help provide a more detailed view of cases, resolutions, and customer feedback at product level. Although product can be associated with cases to better categorize the type of cases, this association will not have an impact on pricing or invoicing. In addition, uh, using products together with cases is optional and might not be applicable to all the organizations. Then there is something called as goals. In addition to reporting on and analyzing the information in customer service, organizations can use goal management feature to establish and track progresses, progress against target values for key performance indicators. Now for service management, these uh, KPIs 
uh, might include metrics like resolved cases or in progress cases, etc. Then at the end, it service level agreements. Now service level agreements or SLAs are way of tracking and defining what should happen when a case is opened. You can track things like um, when a case was first taken by the support engineer and how long it, it took to resolve the case. You can also send emails based on specific warning and failure timelines. So these are the key record types uh, when you work with uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 for customer service. And they are customer records, cases, activities, entitlements, entitlement channels, knowledge base articles, resolution activities, queues, products, goals, and service level agreements.